Time for a roll call on a delicious dessert. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. Today, a really beautiful dessert idea. This is a lavender scented, lemon flavored, lemon filled jelly roll. You won't believe how simple it is to prepare. Oh, so perfect any time of year. To begin, you're gonna need to make our lemon curd recipe. Click up here to watch our one minute city slicker video. You'll make a lemon curd with no trouble. Take the lemon curd, place it into the fridge, allow it to cool. Now we have to make kind of like a sponge cake that will be rolling the lemon curd in. We start by taking four eggs, we separate them. Beat the egg whites till they hold stiff peaks Set them to the side. Now we're going to assemble our dry ingredients. I have three quarters of a cup of Bob's Red Mill gluten-free flour. You can make this with regular all-purpose flour as well. Three quarters of a cup of flour into a sieve. Three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. Quarter teaspoon of salt. And just kind of tap the sieve to make sure everything is blended together. Now we have uh, four of our egg yolks. We're going to whip them until they're light and fluffy. I like to add three quarters of a cup of a super fine granulated sugar. It makes your sponge cake even lighter, if that's at all possible. Whip the sugar in with the egg yolk. One tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, whip that in. Right before we add our dry mix, I want you to take one teaspoon of lavender. Place it into a spice mill, zip it up. It's gonna give it this beautiful, wonderful, fragrant aroma. Add that to your dry ingredients, mix it up. And now we're adding our dry ingredients into our wet mixture. Add a little bit, mix. Add a little bit more and mix. Add a little bit more and we mix. Now this is gonna seem a little bit thick. It won't be as thick if you're using all-purpose flour, but the gluten-free flour really sucks up the moisture, which is cool. Now it's time to fold in our egg whites. So we have those whipped egg whites little by little folded into your batter, fold in, fold in, and you're left with a lovely light batter. If you're like me, you will stick your finger in the batter at this point. Taste it. It's such a fantastic flavor of lavender sweet. You know the sponge cake is going to be beautiful. 11 by 13 baking sheet. I'm lining with parchment paper. We transfer our batter on top, smooth it out right to the edges. Your oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Rack is in the middle position when it comes to temperature. We place our sponge cake in, set your timer exactly eight minutes. At that eight minute mark, I want you to open the oven. If the top is golden, take the sponge out. Need to leave it in for another minute or so? That's fine too. Those last few moments, we lay out a dish towel onto your work surface, icing sugar, tap, 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 key step. We have to place this icing sugar on top of the tea towel because when the cake comes out of the oven, while it's still warm, we take the parchment paper, lay it on top, and then carefully we peel back this parchment paper. Sometimes it gets a little stuck, don't worry about it, do not freak out. Just go slow and slowly peel back that parchment paper. Parchment paper is off. Again, with the sieve, tap, 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 icing sugar all across your sponge cake. Now you fold over the edge of your dish towel and roll up that hot sponge cake. This will form a nice little memory. Your sponge cake will remember this. In the dish towel, set it out on the counter to cool for probably about mm, 20 minutes to half an hour. Once my sponge cake cooled, I unroll it back out onto the work surface. I then have our chilled, tangy, fabulous lemon curd. I spoon it nice and evenly out onto your uh, cake layer. Take a spatula, smooth it right out to the edges, right? You're trying to get an even uh, consistency. When we were shooting this, Carol's mom, Grandma Judy was here, good old Grandma Judy. Make sure you check out Grandma Judy's blueberry muffin recipe. She was here in the kitchen, she said, Nick, you know that's gonna get soaked up by the cake. So a little bit of that lemon curd is gonna get soaked up in the cake, fear not. Now back to this end, and you're gonna roll up nice and slowly. It needs to be tight, but not too tight to squeeze it out. So it's a, a little bit of an effort until you roll it all the way up. You'll see at the end, it's so beautiful, and that little end piece needs to go underneath. I took the oval, I place the uh, jelly roll on top. Once you've transferred onto an oval, we're taking a sharp knife, we're gonna trim off one end, don't take off too much, but make it a nice clean cut. This end, nice clean cut. Bring out that sieve with icing sugar. 
icing sugar dusting on the top. How fabulous. I love the fresh tangy lemon flavor of that lemon curd. How about a little bit of lemon zest? I want to remind my guests that there's lavender in it, a sprinkling of lavender across the top. This jelly roll is so fantastic. Serving it, cut nice sized pieces, maybe with a little bit of whipped cream. I'm really thankful that both those little ends that you trim off, this uh, jelly roll has to wait till my guests arrive, but thankfully I get to do a taste right now to tell you, uh, give you my, my take on the whole thing. Very beautiful presentation. Mmm, even the end cut. Mmm. Wow. Tangy, spongy, a little bit of lavender. I just got goosebumps because it is so delicious. You have got to make this very simple dessert. I know your guests are going to enjoy it as much as mine will. Looking to enjoy other great things? Head to weekendofthecottage.com. Please remember to sign up for our newsletter when you're visiting us. Also, look for us on our YouTube channel. You're probably watching this right now on YouTube, and if you are, Click for subscriptions, drop us some comments if you like our videos. Finally, have a chat with our ever incredible Carol Bogazzi, our head of social media. She's available on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. One final look at a beautiful jelly roll. Get going and make this for those you love. It sure is fantastic. Come on back and visit again soon.